How's it? Any CowboyDocSports.com. Can I turn on April 21st, Thursday, as we get this video to you every around this time? Nice free pick winner yesterday, as I believe we gave you. Uh, we gave you the Giants, which was a winner, and we also gave you the Sixers as a lean as well. In fact, we won four straight free pick winners in an 11 and 4, 12 and 5 run, 35 and 17, 50 and 27, 79 and 45. It's really hard to hit 64% in free picks for four months, but we've done it. We've uh, and it's all transparent. And it's all right there on YouTube for you. Hope you guys are doing great. Hopefully, we'll have a nice free pick video for you today as well. It is between the Grizzlies and the Wolves today, and also talk to you about the Mavericks and the Jazz. What do I need to tell you here? Hello, I am Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and four months now, and uh, Doc Sports has been around for 52 years. And I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics, and uh, Indian Cowboy. Uh, yeah, it's been around a long time. How this works, our best selections are over at DocSports.com, and it's under Indian Cowboy. A lot of other great statisticians and handicappers there. Uh, you get to uh, try out our selections, free $60 worth of premium picks on the link below in the comment section, and also a link to our YouTube premium channel as well in the comment section, where we give you two extra thoughts every single day, including a live show once a week, and we'll try to do something for you today on a podcast. I'm trying to do something around 3.30 or 4, but um, I think consistently we can get you the daily YouTube premium video, which is an extra video every single day, 60 extra thoughts for just $20 a month, which is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, and it, uh, we just give you extra thoughts. It's basically double the content for only $20 a month, which is great. So be sure to check out our Twitter as well for our latest consensus polls, our latest trends on late night ball games, latest updates, trivia questions, poems and limericks, and our hot takes as well. And uh, what's up in our neck of the woods? Well, we have our eight-unit winner yesterday in hockey. Vegas got it done. We're plus 9,600 on the year, which is phenomenal. Um, 57 and 83, or 57 and 23 run over our last 80. We've hit 71% in NHL for three months now. It's unbelievable. Plus 7,900. We won in baseball yesterday on the Yankees and Blue Jays under uh, 10 and four to start, or 11 and four to start the season now at around plus 2,700, I think. We have a seven-unit baseball selection today, which goes off early at 6.40. We have a six-unit NBA selection today, which goes off late tonight at 10 o'clock. We hit our five-unit NBA selection yesterday, uh, as you know, on the uh, Nets Celtics under. So join us, 11-4 and four start to the baseball season. Uh, NBA winning season so far, five-unit winner yesterday. Uh, NHL plus 96 or 9,700, one of the best hockey seasons probably in the country, hitting 61%, and we hit plus 4,365 last year. We hit 56% last year. We hit 61% this year. Great weekend at the RBC Heritage and Golf. MMA 7 unit winner recently. And Korean baseball uh, continues to go along as well with the winning season last year. Your free play today is, I like the over between the Grizzlies and the Wolves here. The question here, will Ja Morant play? And he's listed questionable of all things. But he did play last time and last game and they got 20 points out of him. Minnesota can't shoot as bad as they did last game. They just can't. And I like this game to be high scoring to go over the posted total. Remember, Minnesota scored 100, less than 100 points last game. And uh, when they win games between these two teams, typically it goes over. And the over is 5-0 and for Minnesota on a day of rest. The over is 10-4 and for Minnesota following a loss. And I just find it highly uh, improbable that Minnesota shoots so badly at home. And uh, you can find the current line in Minnesota uh, at over 236 as the public takes the under, but I still like the over there, so keep an eye on that. I also lean on the Jazz here to get it done over the Mavericks. Can the Jazz really keep losing to other teams when their stars are out? They lost last year when um, you know when Kawhi was out, and, uh, and now they're losing this year when uh, Doncic is out and Hardaway is out. I mean, does Conley really go over zero points? He went 0 for 7 last game, and he didn't score a point. I, I doubtful. I think the Jazz will bounce back here. I think the Jazz simply cannot lose this game. How embarrassing is it to lose back-to-back -back playoff series when the star is not even there for the other team? I don't think they'll lay an egg here. The Jazz are 17-7 and seven ATS on two days rest, and they're 7-3 and three as ATS playoff favorites. I think the Jazz bounce back here, frankly, and I like them minus the, the points there. That's what we have for you guys. YouTube Premium will have two thoughts for you in just a second. It is going to be on the Pirates and the Cubs and Texas and Seattle in baseball. Hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cow working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and we will try to do a quick live show for you today at about um, at around uh, 3.30 Eastern, and then we'll try to do a live show tonight as well at 10 Eastern. So we'll try to do both for you. Okay? Take care.